Hey folks, we are back today with the Technix SU8044. We got our Darlington pack in. And focus, yeah, focus, no? Oh, so we have our Darlington pack and it looks like the right general piece. It is an STK0039. Uh, I can't really prove that this is an original. I think these were originally Sanyo. It's not marked identically to the ones that are in it, but you know, this stage in the game, we really, we take what we can get, you know, as far as parts availability. So we're going to put it in and see how it winds up sounding. Nice of them to include a little bit of a thermal compound to slap on there. So yeah, this guy will wind up going right here. Sit in the holes. Yep. Yep, I'll drop in right like that. So, and uh, I also found, uh, I remembered the other day after uh, going through the whole pain in the ass of fighting this thing, a uh, kind of amusing uh, not very often used tool that I have sitting in the garage for when I was uh, doing a lot of carburetor tuning. This guy is really quite fun and will be useful for, I think, at least one of the screws. I don't think I'll be able to use it on the, uh, on the capacitor side, but on the side without the capacitor, I definitely have enough room for it. But this thing is normally used to set the screws on carburetors on motorcycles where you're reaching them from the side. And then by turning the knob here on the back, you can uh, set the, you know, set the adjustments. And it's actually got a set of adjustment uh, lines here so you can see how far you've, how far you've turned it for when you're setting the, uh, setting the balance between your carbs or setting the fuel air ratio. But anyway, that's not particularly relevant to what we're doing here for today. The cool thing is that we can get into spots like this to be able to turn a screwdriver where there's not much room. So we should be able to at least put in one screw following, you know, using an actual screwdriver type apparatus. <clears throat> and the other screw we'll probably still have to fight with with the, uh, with the pliers. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, little parts bin here. Let's see, we've got the long screws. The other long screw. So yeah, you can see the original labeling here, and this is the new one here, so. Let's see, are we gonna have to, looks like we might have to bend the pins a bit. Just looking at the layout there. But we'll see. I'm gonna try just throwing some, uh, throwing some thermal paste on here and then screwing it down. And we'll have to see how all it, uh, how it comes out. There's still, let's see if you can see this here, there's still a mess of thermal paste on the uh, heat sink as well. But we're still gonna slather some on here anyway. I feel like I'm in kindergarten playing with paste, which I guess isn't too far off from reality. All right, and we'll clean that guy up later. Yeah, the slots that this can go in are actually relatively huge. So this might not actually need the pins bent. Let's see. Yeah, that's in. And then let's see when it pulls tight. Is that? Yeah, I think we should 
put the uh, put the dog leg in them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we need to come over away from the paste at the bottom and then come back to straighten out when we're back up the top. So I'm not biting down hard here because I want the pins to slide as opposed to accidentally pulling them out of this thing. Doesn't look too terrible. Better than I expected, honestly. Not exactly the same, but probably good enough. Two came out a little funky there, but I think on the overall that will do the job. Yeah, looks pretty close to me. Yeah, hopefully that'll do. So now let's try dropping this in there again. Now, yeah, now we can slide that around nice and tight up on the heat sink and have the pins drop down in the slot. So that is much happier. So, so now slide around until we find where our screw drops in. If I recall, yep quite a bit higher than you would expect. All right, so there's that one. And then let's at least get the other screw started before we start screwing the other one, just to make sure the holes lined up. Okay, and I actually wanna run this one in as far as I can with my fingers while it's loose before going at it with the pliers. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'll run it in as far as I can. Okay, I'm gonna drive the uh, back one in first while it's loose because this one's the bigger pain in the ass. need some super crazy tiny one to be able to get in there. I know they make uh, low profile ratcheting 90 degree screwdrivers, but I don't even think that would fit in there. Might have to try one of the ones that's just a tiny bit on an offset feeler gauge basically, um, which would still probably be better than uh, doing it with the needle nose pliers. But anyways, next up, we will solder the thing in place. Let's see. All right, so that 
let's poke and prod here and see if we can get the pins in the middle. That's where they are on the other one. These here don't really matter because they're not connected to anything, but makes me feel better. Okay. Now we get out our friend here. <clears throat> Put on with a really non trivial amount of solder. Just have to check that one, make sure I didn't bridge it with the one next to it. Not sure my tiny little coil of solder here is going to be enough. Interesting factoid this is the end of a coil of solder that I have been using since high school. I got this in the 90s. Okay, so I guess at this point, this thing might actually work, wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, I suppose I should hook up some speakers. So that makes me very happy. All right. I think that will do for today. I'm quite happy with that. So the next step with this one will be probably to uh, polish it up a little bit and get it ready for a uh, new owner and list it on eBay for hopefully, uh, yeah, somebody to enjoy for years to come. Thank you as always for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Oh yeah, check out Luminous Polycam. He's awesome, his stuff is great. I don't understand three quarters of what's on the screen here. But yeah, check it out, you'll like it. And we will see you next time.